today. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. We'll see Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Justin Herbert and the L.A. Chargers. From the area known as Patriot Place, EA Sports set for football at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Los Angeles Chargers and the New England Patriots. There's Nick Folk ready to put this one in the air. And we are underway in Foxborough. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. And he is just absolutely marvelous to watch throw a football. That's something I could do all day long, watch him throw routes versus air. But he's even more impressive when there are bodies on the field, and he's creating with big throws downfield. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And that one complete to his receiver, Palmer. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Third play in this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Herbert now. Got a man, it's complete, it's Palmer. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now it's Herbert. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Here's Herbert. Eluding the pressure right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Pats will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. So out comes the offense now with a long field ahead of them. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. The Chargers trot out their dime package, expecting a throw on third down. Throwing Jones. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Nasir Adderley. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already.
already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They put the out not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if you're starting running back, finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. From the gun, Herbert on third down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The Chargers will bring out the field goal unit now. A 33-yarder from the left hash. And his kick here is good. And the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. And they were regular down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Their second drive here, the ball game charge. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little, but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now, back out on the field, put together a good drive, and get some points of their own. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now Jones. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Throwing again, Jones. And incomplete on the deep ball. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And that's how you shake off the interception he threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one, the man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Meanwhile, Jones' throw here taken in by Parker. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A well-executed 22-yard gain. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, they go Montgomery. That he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Able to convert on fourth to bring up first and goal. That's a big three yards right there. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And the Chargers are going to take over at their own two-yard line. They started on the ground with Eckler. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. 
And while they hope to continue this drive, it's really already mission accomplished. They've given enough space now that they have to pump the ball. They've done so with that first run. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Here's Jones on the return. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32, they had a 10-yard return. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and 10. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Off the play fake, Jones. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. But forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. They'll run with Strong. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll try to run with Strong. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Off play action, Jones. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And the Chargers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. Well, that's a defense coordinator. has got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw taken in by Palmer. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw here, Herbert. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Devon Godshaw getting in there and dropping it. Well, you don't usually get a sack from a nose tackle spot, but we got one there. No, we don't. And a lot of the times in passing situations, they end up off the field anyway. So how happy was he to work his way back to the quarterback and put him on the ground? He's going to end up with a nickname after something like that, some big jelly or something <laughs> like that. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Mills. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. 
Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. Nick Folk for the point after. He's got it. We'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the 50, here's Herbert. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Williams. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Juwan Bentley. And the Pats are going to take possession here at their own 33. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Ty Montgomery and the offense getting set for their next drive. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. They give him a gain of 38. Get enough of watching one handed catches, and when they pay off, they are spectacular. But how about the times they don't pay off? And coaches go, Two hands, two hands still works. <laughs> I know, but they, they go for them so often now that I'm almost starting to take them for granted. Yeah, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Because these are sensational type plays, especially that one with a defender right there. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them would be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. 54 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And right side, Henry's got it. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Facing a second and three, ball on the 10. Going up the gun, Montgomery. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. That solid gainer will put them on the doorstep of the end zone. More importantly, it gives them a fresh set of downs. Nice work right there. They'll run with Montgomery. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. 
And Brandon, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defend. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Mike Gesicki taking it in from two yards out as his guys are able to extend their lead. This one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that drive in total eight plays, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. will give this one to Eckler. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Here's Herbert. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Second down at six now from the 42. Herbert. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. On first and 10, Herbert. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the Patriots are going to take possession of the football. So they get the interception, and almost as importantly, a big return after that. And who was the guy that saved the touchdown, partner? The guy who threw the interception. A lot of times, he just gives it the old ole, but give him credit. He went old school. He was determined not to make this a pick six, and he got there in time to make it. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Their first passing touchdown of the ball game, and they go to the big tight end in those sure hands, and he provides the score. Certainly looked like they were focused on taking away other weapons, and he certainly made them regret that because he found the soft spot, ended up taking it to the end zone. Nice throw, too, to complete the play. Folk connects on the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. Now, they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Now a man open down the middle of the field. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A 
up the middle with Eckler. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. There's a quick shot to his tight end. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Now a second down and six. Again, Herbert. Throw left side complete. That's Williams. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first and 10 is Spiller. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Draw play. It's Eckler. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. That call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Coverage is awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And this one is right down the middle. And that'll get the deficit down to 15. That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. Yeah, Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Derwin James with a pick. And the Chargers are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. He's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. Once more, here's Eckler. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Back to throw. Herbert, he's got it to Williams. And he is going to have the Chargers first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Eckler now between the tackles. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On second and 11 now, Herbert. Throw left side is hauled in by Palmer. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. A third field goal in the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Looking to throw, Herbert. By, and he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. And the Patriots gonna use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. He's been a busy man here this first half as he gets it away. The Patriots take over first and ten at their own 
New England trotting into place on offense. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you, an interception's result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Back to throw. Jones. Now right to board. And they'll work this down inside the 30. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Looking to throw. Jones. And this is incomplete. Kendrick Bourne, the intended receiver. And it's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So on fourth down, Jones jogs off, and on comes a longtime vet, Nick Folk, for the Pats field goal try. Folk's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So no touchdown that time, but they do get three more, and now they have even more of a cushion. It's been a terrific first half offensively, so it's hard to blame them for not getting into the end zone there. But the way they've been moving the ball in this one, I don't think these will be their final points of the game. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. The Charger drive about to get going. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. They'll find Everett there, complete. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. From the 44, Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. The final shot before the break for Herbert. This is swung out to Eckler. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. So we've reached halftime here at Gillette Stadium with the Patriots on top as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. Marcus Jones going to elect to bring this one out. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The offense and QB Mac Jones running back out. Any surprise in your mind he's out there to start the second half after four first-half interceptions? He's to be surprised by a lot of things, partner, but in this case I'm not because you know they want him to be their guy. And the only way to truly establish that is to give him a chance to work through some of the issues he had in the first half. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Back to throw. Jones. Oh, 
open man, the tight end Henry. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A gain of 28 yards there and give him the first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again. Jones airing this one out for Evans. Touchdown! Mike Evans, 42 yards. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Extra point up and good by Foley. And they open the lead up now to 25. A drive there of just four plays. And it's Mike Evans who caps it with a touchdown reception. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. And that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. My game, my game. Watch, watch Herbert takes it and just pops it forward. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And a lot of times these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Four yards the pickup, first down. Operating from the gun. Herbert over the middle, and it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Herbert's throw going into the hands of Williams. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 38-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Running on first down, Eckler. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
A shotgun snap for Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. And they'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. But don't tell any defensive coordinator I played for, but that might be considered a win for both teams because defensively they stopped them short and forced the fourth down. But offensively, they picked up enough yards to give their kicker a better shot if that's what they want to do. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they're back within three scores as it's now a 22-point game. So his third field goal of the ball game brings him a bit closer, but there's no question. They need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And sevens and probably even eights. You know, as a kicker, you just head out when you're called upon, so he's done his job. It's the rest of the offense that needs to get it in gear if they want to close this gap. The Pats at the line ready to go. The offense running out, and they are charged up ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as the tackle made at about the 38. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Open man down the field is Henry. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. This is just more of the same. This and now following that last play, I do believe we're going to get a review here. Yes, indeed, the red flag is out. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Let's go, baby. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Off the fake, Zappi. He completes it to Evans. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And off comes to Montgomery. And a short gain here down to the 22. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there to make the play defensively. On second down, Montgomery. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 110 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. On second and goal, Zappi. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. 
The Charger drive about to get going. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Eckler, they run left side. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. And they're going to get this up to midfield. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because... He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. Herbert on first down now. Well, this is caught by Williams. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Operating from the gun. Herbert, a little short pass. This is Everett. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Herbert back to the air. He gets this out to Spiller. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Herbert operating from the red zone. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. A second and 10 now. Third quarter action from Foxborough. On second down, Spiller looking for space. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. To throw on third down. Herbert. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Jerron Bentley. And the Pats are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. But to be blunt, not a whole lot has gone right for this defense in this ball game. But that's something right there still in the third quarter. It would, it would take something around miracle territory for a comeback. But maybe that's a start, Charles. It certainly is, and they're definitely showing that there's some fight still left in them. Hasn't been a banner day. But they're trying their best to put that disappointment behind them and find ways to make plays. Give them a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Throwing on second and eight. Jones under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. And this one is incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. A leap, and he's got it. He got it. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup. That's the stick to make a drastic shift forward. Throughout. So the line of scrimmage makes it all the way across the 
the 50 now as they take up first and 10. Looking to throw, Jones. A quick throw, incomplete. And he still doesn't have the catch where it's in the second half. That's a little bit of a surprise to me. But that was one he just caught. That's one that was his next opportunity right there. He dropped it. Again, yeah, this is Montgomery. 118 yards on the ground for him so far. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right on the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so he's going to either have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash. Makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, time to start stretching and loosening up. You may get some playing times in this one. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right on this drive. And then that just sum up football. We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and still the momentum. So you know they're riding hot right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. Looking to throw again on second down. Herbert drops it off for Spiller. And he's up in it at the 33, following a good pick up. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. To throw Herbert, and that is incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blow. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side, and an inability to advance the ball from the other. fourth down conversion. I know this will surprise you. I've actually done a little bit of reading lately, and all the analytics say that you should go for it more on fourth down. I think someone has and now here's another interception. It's Kyler Duggar who picked it, and the Patriots are going to take possession of the football. With this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles. And picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. If they see the scoreboard, they see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Up the middle, that's Montgomery. Down to about the 32. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some And I know it sounds crazy. Second and seven, Jones. And he's just throwing the ball up for grabs now. Fortunately, that one's going to fall incomplete. New England on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third and seven. Open man is born. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Second catch for him today, and he'll wind up a first down. It's Montgomery, and he'll take this ahead for about four second down coming up. And any running play that's called, they're always hoping it's going to break big and go the distance. When you get a nice game like that, you're able to 
you do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back. Blitz coming and down he goes. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. So no sack, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to find time for his guys to make a play. But in this case, he's surrounded, and all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. Fultz kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, I'm not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know. If you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and try to add to this lead. The Charger drive about to get going. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things in this ball game, but the self-inflicted rules, it had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how they're not going to do it in the future. And it's actually how they want to do it. And get better for the next time out. This they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. And it's gonna be caught. It's Palmer. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and ten at the 46. Herbert now. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. 18 yards there, down to the 18, and a first down. Straight ahead, it's Spiller. Anthony Jennings in that time defensively. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Then his keys made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive, and not as much running in it as we did so the points again stopped after a very short gain, but I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback makes it very very difficult for him in that situation Now Herbert And he's left with no option here, but the throw away The Chargers got out the field goal unit now from the left hash just a 32 yard attempt remains a large deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been out playing all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, so you make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. with a first down as they begin the drive. You just kind of feel for the defense right now. This deficit, they have not been able to stop them the entire game, Charles. And some hands on him, some long faces out there on the defensive side. Oh, they're like, oh my gosh, we got to face these guys again here. Yeah, people don't understand how hard it is when you're on the side that's being dominated to keep your head up and continue to play hard. And that's what they're going through right now. Trying to find that pride inside of them. in this game.
Play fake. Now here's Happy. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. As he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 18 big yards on that one. And a New England first down. from the 27. Here's Herbert. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now it's Herbert. Open man, it's Palmer. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Patriots take over. New England's offense set to go. This has really just been a lopsided affair. What a performance they put on, and now they get the football back here with a big lead in the fourth quarter. You know, the past, we might be discussing dinner plans, talking about steak and sushi, whatever the case is, CD. This ball game is pretty much well in the books. Yeah, we really could have started bringing up dinner a long time ago if we wanted to, partner. And I think a few of the guys out of the field already making plans for the evening. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That was a first down pickup of eight. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point in the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, tell the time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. He'll throw here. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. A good passing attack, even though that one was incomplete. It's been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns. And it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because it's a more chance. Their stats have been good as far as the actual need. You're not going to just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Even with the big lead here in the fourth, it still bombs away. And frankly, it's working. Why should they stop? Go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards. Montgomery back to the ground. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20. That's over 40 yards of movement for those last two plays. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Again, they'll go down with Montgomery. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. And give him four yards there. It'll be 
second and six. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Throw to Jones. He's still caught at about the five. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, he said before the game that they were going to try and execute every second of this contest. I, I guess that that was taken literally because here they are in the final moments of the fourth, putting another touchdown on the board, Charles, to add to this big lead. Not a big believer in 110 percent, but it certainly applies here, doesn't it? Because some guys just can't go with less. As long as there's time left on the clock, they're pushing to get to the end zone one more time. They don't really care about what the optics show. They just want to finish the game off the way that they like to play it. Full speed, all out. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. The Charger drive about to get going. We said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try to hit the reset button starting tomorrow. As this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Patriots winners here at home. So long from Foxborough. Today, from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, this is the National Football League. It's the New York Jets taking on the Atlanta Falcons. We are situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Atlanta Falcons and the New York Jets. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon.
Hamlin and Gordon, welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me as always, Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. So now here comes the jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by their quarterback who played his college ball at Western Kentucky. He was a hilltopper. It's Mike White. And you'd think as a young QB there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any side of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and showing the expectations of the game day. They'll take that, 14 yards on play number one. On first down, it's White. He puts that to Garrett Wilson. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. One of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. A.J. Terrell coming up to make the play. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house, so they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. They have pretty good running as he'll be close to a first down at the Falcons 33. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. It's a quarterback sneak, and he is going to have the Jets first down, at least at first glance, as they spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. There may have been a little bit of an element of surprise there. Third and inches, and they go quarterback sneak. I still feel like this is a play that often is reserved for fourth down. Gonna get this down near the 25. On second defense. Oh, he put it on the carpet. And they're gonna take over right there at the 22 yard line. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two hands on the ball. It's tucking it away. It's using your body to keep people shielded off. There's so many different things into taking care of it and having ball security. In that case, though, we didn't see it happen. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. <laughs> to throw is Mariota. He's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Mariota had an 87-yard run as a rookie. This one a bit less, but it is a first down. Now Mariota. And he'll just get rid of it. So a line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. Mariota. and get a nice game. The third and short yardage. Mariota got his man. It's London. And he's going to have a Falcons first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. Mariota now from the 50. Flushed out right. It'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. You're looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got off the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. And he's going to be taken down right at the four yard line. Really 
been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown in on them. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. for Cordero Patterson. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Mariota completes to Zacchaeus. And they've got this down about the 12 yard line. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. On second down, a run with Patterson. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. It'll be a pickup with Cobble and leaves him with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third and short, they'll try option left. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown Atlanta. Marcus Mariota. Keeping it himself from 10 yards away. And the Falcons take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And this will be a touchdown to Arios, deciding not to bring it out. Brees Hall helped leading out this offense for another series. And Charles, he's a rookie. He's put it on the ground once, maybe defensively now. They say, okay, we can get this young buck to cough it up two or three times. He's got to be careful here. Yeah, they do tend to zero in on the young runners because once one comes out, as you noted, you think there's an opportunity for more. This is where you have to get with that guy and say, all right, they're going to come after you, but we believe in your talents. Take care of the football, and let's go. And I guess, Charles, sometimes when you have a receiver well over six foot, you do that. Just put it up there, let him grab it, and he did. And it certainly appears like a 50-50 ball, right? We always talk about that when both sides have a chance to get it, the receiver or the guy covering him. But I think the odds actually are in favor of the offense. They can see the ball coming oftentimes before the defender can get his head around. So I think that really goes to like 70-30, and they should be able to go up and get it most of the time. He got it there. From the 45 on second down, White able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 30. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. So first and 10 now from the 30. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. What we got? What we got? What we got? They'll run with Hall. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to 15. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Touchdown, Jets! Corey Davis. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets are an extra point away from drawing level. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out. But they'll do so fatigued. Zerline connects on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. 
About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. He would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> Third down, Mariota. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Jets have recovered. That's the kind of distance coaches always talk about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him, sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did. Yet the pressure was still there, and he ended up coughing it up. Hall on a give up the middle. And here he'll get it down to the seven. 43 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now White. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. On third down, it's Knight. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their full band. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. They'll go with the keeper, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. The sneak successful from a yard out, and the Jets have taken the lead. He hit him earlier in this first quarter with his arm. Now he does it with his legs. Right now, he's one of those stat stuffers that you see on the basketball court. You know, the guy with points, rebounds, assists, steals. One with the arm, one with the legs. Let's see if he can continue this pace. And sending out the reminder that, yeah, look, I'm known for having an arm, but I can do it with the legs on occasion when I need to. Zerline good for the PAT. And that makes the score 14-7. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From out of his end zone, it's Avery Williams. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. Last time out, they had the fumble that led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. And wisely will throw that one away. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. Mariota to throw it. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Mariota. Well, almost, but not quite. Needed 10, he got nine. Fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. New York ready to go again offensively. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because to be ahead of the defense that much, where every play call you have, run or pass, is working.
pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. Open man here is Conklin. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Straight ahead is home. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Play action, here's White. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. A handoff for Hall. And he'll be stopped at the 46. Gain of three. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Yeah, he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Here's a give to Hall. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that. feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. 75 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. The play fake, now White. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Second and 10 now from the 27. Now Hall. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So here's Greg Zerline now as he'll try for the field goal. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. Zerline's kick is up and through. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. And he is going to lose yardage here. That was Carl Lawson in pursuit that time, and he gets the stop. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. To throw Mariota. No, he doesn't have it. Maybe some alligator arms there going over the middle. Third down. 
This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. This is third down and 12. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. And they'll get 10 there, but it leaves them just short for fourth down. On third down, you'll give them that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. They were able to get him down and force the punt. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And here comes Berrios. Going to be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Jets will take over first and 10. They'll start on the ground, Hall. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot down the field? And he'll have a Jets first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. First and 10, White. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Now White. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. White. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 38-yard line. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 38. Here's Hall. They find some open field here. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. 124 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to, but they didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, and it created a big run. In trouble he'll go down back at the 12. So first down went the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line. Here's second and goal to throw. White. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down. Then a near sack. They got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback because that was awfully close. And this one nearly intercepted. Oh, that's a ball he thinks he should have had. Instead, maybe a chance for the offense to get three out of it after all. Fourth down. Zerline's kick is up and through. And that will open the lead up now to 20 to 7. So three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Out of the gun, a run with Patterson. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. On first down, going back to Patterson. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. 
Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Here's Mariota, option left. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. An excellent run of 22 yards on the keeper and also a first down. First and 10, it's Patterson. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Algier. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. He stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I'll... Touchdown, Falcons! Kyle Pitts, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Falcons have cut it back within a score. Coup for the extra point. And it's good. The deficit six, 20 to 14. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was the tight end Kyle Pitts finishing it all off on the touchdown reception. Barrios now from his end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And that ball incomplete. He couldn't work free from his defender, and now it's third down. Going to look deep for Wilson. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. On the give, this is their fullback. And he's got the first down as he's up to the with a first down throw. Oh, he's going up top for Wilson. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. That's on the guard, Lakin Tomlinson. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. White looks to throw. And he comes back with one complete. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. 141 yards rushing for him now to this point. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. On third down, here's Hall. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's White. Looking right sideline, that's complete. He's going to go out of bounds. 
Rams, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. The Jet Pat, I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they got to decide. And I got to say. So that challenge is successful one. To throw again on second down. White. He finds Wilson. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 13-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. A white throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And the Jets are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. They'll run on first down. It's night, and this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of one. Brings up second and goal. Now White, a final shot before break. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin as time expires in the first half. And the Jets will extend their lead on the final play of the half. You knew time was going to run out, so this had to be in the end zone, and somehow they were able to find a window and get it done. Very easy for us to talk about up here that, yes, all that had to happen, but when time's running down, sometimes your brain compresses a little bit, too. They showed great poise, understanding of situation, making sure they got to the end zone in order to complete that pass and take a nice momentum into the locker room. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead now stands at 13. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It'll be Falcons football, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And we will not see a return to start the half, as this will be a touchback. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. In well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense is thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive, but get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Throwing again on second down. Mariota, his throw incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Throwing is Mariota. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Straight ahead, Patterson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. So not a lineman, the tight end instead this time, drawing the holding call. And more and more what you're getting with tight ends are guys who are much more receiver than blocker. They may be willing, but that might not be their thing. Oftentimes, they'll be the ones getting the penalties. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Yeah. 
They'll give it to Patterson. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Throwing, Mariota. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 34-yard line. A shotgun handoff to Patterson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Mariota. Into the hands of London. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. On first and 10, it's Algier. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Mariota now. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. Here's Mariota. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. On fourth down, Mariota is off, and on comes Atlanta's young way, Koo. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that gets him back within 10. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Now Hall to start the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. That's quickly out wide to Davis. It'll be a gain of five. And now that sets up third and two. This is Hall. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. They'll try and sneak it here. Prior to that, they were two for two on fourth down conversions in this ballgame. Now three for three. And you've got to figure their luck's got to run out at some point, doesn't it? I will just tell you from a defense's point of view, someone has to step forward on fourth down and make a play himself because they're just letting it happen to him right now. And that is incomplete. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. Uncorks one for Davis. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Looking to throw. White. And a completion to Wilson. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. Here's the Jets punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43 
yard punt. Six on the return. And it will be Falcon football. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they had a long drive last time. They had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now, Joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. And maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. On second down, a run with Patterson. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. You've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Open man there is Patterson complete. That he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Atlanta. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Jets will take over. On first and 10, it's Hall. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. Back to throw. White. Quick hitter here. It's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And it's third and four now. Ball on a give up the middle. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. So first and 10 now from the 30. Off the play fake. White. Throws right side, and that's complete. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 64 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive is going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. taking a three-score lead. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Zerline good with a PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Quan Alexander. And the Jets are going to take possession of the football. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Seven yards left for second down. Ball at the 10. Ball again on second down. 
And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Brees Hall with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jets take the forced turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead is now 24. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. It's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. The turnover on the last drive, they had the issue in the first half as well. And that's really, unfortunately for them, helped to put this game out of reach. And you know they won't admit it to themselves. But we know that winning the game is pretty much out of the picture now. So their bottom line is how do they play a clean game the rest of this one, right? Take care of the football, no more turnovers, and see how that works. And off running left, Patterson. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Now a dump off here complete. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with this third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And this offense on third down today, they've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and ten. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Wreaking havoc was Nathan Shepard, the D tackle. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. Yeah, high throw there. This is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. The Falcons go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Jets are going to get the football here in great field position. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Straight ahead is Hall. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. Now a play fake here on first down. And here's a leaping catch. He pulled it in. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Here's a give ball. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Jets have so this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. Well, obviously, Charles, no more points were needed, but some teams just can't resist the urge to keep adding on, and they did just that here in the fourth quarter. And we've certainly been on the call to see many teams do exactly that over the years, Brandon. Some to even more impressive degrees. In the end, it always comes back to there's still a defense out there, and it's still a game of NFL football. So if you don't like what's happening, it's up to you to get them stopped. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. A 
About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Two yards on the pickup there. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Working out of the gun, Mariota. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Desperation time, Mariota on fourth down. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Falcons go for it, but it doesn't work out. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And We've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. And all it boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. On first down, right back to Hall. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall, 14 yards, and the Jets continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Zerline now for the PAT. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, Pater out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And Williams is going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try to pick themselves back up. Looking to throw again on second down. Mariota. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. They're going to look to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To the air again, Mariota. Over the middle, complete. It's Burr. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. To throw again on second down, Mariota. This one left side, caught by Patterson. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets, 42. They'll look to throw again. Throw caught here by Bird. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Here's second and a yard. Now Mariota. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. To throw is Mariota. Got a man. It's Patterson complete. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. They'll throw again. Mariota. Mariota so nimble, sliding to the ground with a first down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, Mariota. Touchdown! 
Demir Bird, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Falcons get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Two able to connect on the extra point as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And what could he possibly be thinking? He just took the fair catch at the one-yard line. Major mistake. The Jets take it over again. Brees Hall making his way out with the offense. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice play. And oh, he coughs up the football near his own goal line. And the Falcons grab it. And this is going to be brought back. It's a scoop and score for the Falcon TD. Coup now for the point after. And the lead is down to 24. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The New York set to take the field. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. On third down, Knight. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to convert with a gain of four. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. It's caught by Davis. And they're able to work this across midfield at a 48. There's a beautiful throw there, and he's been sensational the entire game, moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I want him out. They tend to leave him in. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll keep it on the ground. It's nice, and he'll get it down the line of the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Looking to throw. White completes it to Davis. And he'll be taken down at the back of the 22 yard line. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. On first down, it's Knight. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Zonovan Knight, 22 yards. And the Jets have opened the lead up to 30. Well, they just continue to roll. And, and Charles, for you and I, we want the close games, but for them, it has to be so nice to enjoy this big cushion. I can't remember the last time we saw them play this loose and have this much fun. I think they'd love to be able to capture this game, carry it with them from week to week, and be able to execute like this in all the rest of their games. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. 
About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want a carbon copy of what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. The sack backs him up, so now Mariota in Atlanta dealing with a third and long. They'll look to throw. It's tipped, but it doesn't matter. He still catches it. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Mariota forced out to his left. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. He broke that line of scrimmage and then let it fly, and that's an automatic flag. Yeah, and you know, you don't just lose the five yards there, but you lose it down as well. So he obviously needs to have better awareness about what he's going to do. Either tuck it and go, or throw it to a target and get that pass away. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Mariota now from the 50. He sets to fire deep and unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it the, at the 15-yard line. Not too bad. The New York set to take the field. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. On second down, a run with Hall. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down, then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. He'll air this one out deep for Davis, and that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Falcons will be taking over first and ten. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Uh, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. The Falcons are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. A first down throw for Mariota. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Patterson. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. From the 44, Mariota, and that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the 
clock. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Mariota to throw it. He finds his man complete. It's Patterson. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Again, it's Mariota. One last shot at the end zone. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. One last shot now for Mariota. Got his man, it's London. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory, even better for them. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Jets, as we say so long from MetLife Stadium. Today, from Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, this is the NFL on EA Sports. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles taking on Brock Purdy and the San Francisco 49ers. Just north of the Delaware Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Philadelphia Eagles. The veteran kicker, Robbie Gold, set to get us started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right away, they rack up 
10 yards on their first play from scrimmage. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing his hurts. Now, quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders, and he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. But first down, Hurts. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Hurts to his former Alabama teammate Smith for an eagle first down. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. It's one of the better coaches in the league always tells me. On offense, I want their body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And that's something you have to get ready for defensively because in today's NFL, teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps, end arounds. They'll move them back in the backfield and make them running backs. Partner, this was much more of a tap pass, but effective nonetheless. And I think both guys love it. If you're a quarterback, it's an easy completion. If you're a wide receiver, you get the easy reception and also a chance to try to make a play with your feet. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They go play action with Hurts. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Eagles are on the board first here this afternoon. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead it 7-zip. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. 
So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Purdy will set up to throw it here. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Purdy with it on third and long. And it will be incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. So back onto the field. Here come the Eagles for their second drive. They've got the 7 to nothing lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind to, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end, complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And third and one now. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. And we're going to stop play here, at least momentarily. It looks like there's a 49er who's in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four on second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. It'll go as a gain of four. And that's going to make it fourth down. They're going to run this with a tight end. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. Good spot on the field to go for it. Kind of no man's land, as they call it, and it worked out. Yeah, they call it no man's land because your punter is telling you it's too short. I'm just going to punt it into the end zone. Your field goal kicker might give you a little raised eyebrow. Might be too far for the field goal, so it gives you a great chance to go for it. Personally, if you have those tendencies to be aggressive as a head coach, you kind of like this spot because it gives you the decision to go ahead and go for it when you want to anyway. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the ten. 
Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. It's a second down run with Sanders. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. 57 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, touchdown, Eagles! Ray Calcaterra from four yards out. And the Eagles have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Elliott Good with a PAT, and that'll make the score 14 to 0. So that one, a 13 play drive in total. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. So after the sack here, second and 14. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And this is going to be intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Third and long that time, he was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him, and what I mean by that is what you said, third and long. Got to push it downfield to try and pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation, and they took advantage of the young man right there. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. They start on the ground here at Sanders, and he's across the 45. It'll be second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver, but he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front, so if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there... Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. But that's what they have to do more of defensively. Not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Talanoa Hufunga. And the Niners are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. So really, the first speed bump that this offense has encountered. They had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Only needing two yards on second down. the god McCaffrey and he'll get it down here to the 43 six yards the pickup and that's a first down 
17 0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And they run the option here on first and 10. And down to the 36 yard line here. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. Play action. Now Purdy. Got a man. That's IU. And they'll work this down inside the 30. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they... And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Well, Fletcher Cox, he's been doing this for a lot of years, and another sack to his ledger there. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining... It took a sack on first and goal, but that close to the goal line, it still definitely hurts. It's second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And power running here down to the six-yard line. A good run there, nine yards, but it still leaves him with work to do on third and goal. Purdy looking to throw. Dancing to his left. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. The kick by Gold is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to three. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, and still in the first half here, a long way to go. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. 67 yards on the ground for him so far. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Hurts a handoff to Sanders, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Off 
the play fake. Here's Hurts. Open, and he's got it. That's Smith for the Philadelphia touchdown. Ten yards on the touchdown pass as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. So three drives, three touchdowns, and they're a PAT from going up 21-3. to three. And there's no doubt in my mind, you're liking what you're seeing so far, aren't you? It's uh, unbelievable. Yeah. Like a well-oiled machine, if you will. What's really tough, though, that defense, they're leaping the shadows at this point. They don't know which way to go. They're being hit in every direction, and they have no answers thus far. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. To the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On first down, Purdy. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. James Bradbury, he was right there to break it up. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go for the 40. He'll decide to keep this once more. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. He'll get nine yards on the keeper there, but it's still going to leave him with a third and one. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. Slip one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. They'll run with a fullback, huge check. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and 10. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's him. Tackle made that time by Brandon Graham. the option going left on second down and he'll lose yardage brought down at the 32 they lost four there and it's third down they need a crafty play call here 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing now on third and long they'll look to throw oh that's it it's able to now he's hit on the return it's a loose football that he's able to get it back potential turnover. They're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. Partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but... Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. 
Another run with Sanders. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. 102 yards on the ground now for Sanders. He's got a first down. They run behind center with Gamewell. And he takes this for about six down inside the 40. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. It's a pickup of six. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Play action. Here's Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 25 yards that time. They'll run the jet sweep with Brown. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. From the two now, second and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. And this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles continue to pull away here in this first half. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Elliott Good with a PAT. And the route is on here this first half. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. Well, things for them, just to put it bluntly, man, it has been tough sledding here in the first half facing that big deficit. The clock is dwindling now. Maybe if they can get something on the board here before intermission, they'll have at least a little momentum heading into the second half. 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. Touchdown, 49ers! George Kittle from 10 yards out. And the Niners get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. So on this drive, the rookie leads him into the end zone, Charles, and that helps cancel out the points that were created on the previous drive when he threw the interception. Yeah, let's give some credit to this rookie because instead of hanging his head after his mistake leads to a touchdown, 
He comes back out, and he's firing and made up for it right there. A well-executed series helps reestablish some confidence in him to run this offense. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. With a white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. And they will take a knee here. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod. Powering forward. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive? on that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. On second down, McCaffrey. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. The 71 yards now for McCaffrey. It's a first down. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. A hit as he throws there incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. To throw again on second down. Purdy, that's going to be caught by Samuel. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 37. to the ground attack here it's McCaffrey and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards but no more than that second down second down and right back to McCaffrey and he'll get this down to about the 30 31 yard line a minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive this offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down Purdy now to throw He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 21. A nice pick up there, 10 yards. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. 
And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. So that play, I mean, it was pretty well blown up from the start, and it results in a turnover. Yeah, and when you're running the option like that as a quarterback, you have so many different keys and reads to make that sometimes as you're making them, you're not protecting the ball the way you should, and it gets popped free. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they had the big halftime lead. Their defense just helped them out further by forcing the turnover, so things are starting to look pretty rosy. They certainly are, but they've got to be careful about getting complacent, though. They still need to go out and run their offense efficiently. Line of scrimmage, the 31, as they line up second and 10. Up the middle they go with Sanders, and he'll be tackled at about the 35. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Another run here with Sanders, and he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. A nice run back there off the good punt. It's a 16-yard return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Right now, they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football is certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it, and if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Shotgun handoff down to McCaffrey. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Shotgun now with Purdy. Now the ball comes loose. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he'll get this one out to the 50 of the midfield strike. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. They'll run it, Sanders. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. They're going to look to throw. And Sanders has got it complete. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. They'll run with Sanders. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They didn't punt it on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Second and 11 now. From the gun, it hurts. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tashad Gibson. 
Johnson, the 40, the 20, and into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Boy, a big play right there. I mean, a touchdown on this drive could have really put some separation on the scoreboard. Instead, it's the defense who scores. And partner, we got a game again. And we do have one because of what you just described. A defense that understood what was going on in this game and did something about it. They knew their offense needed some help. They just provided it. They're back in this one. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. Looking to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. Here's McLeod on the return. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return, and they will take over first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurt. No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they are going to set up sharp at the 40-yard line. And now three drives, three fumbles. What's amazing about it is when we go around and watch practices, how many times do we see them put that sleeve over a football now to make it more slippery, yeah, slippery. and hard to handle? It's almost like they're playing with that sleeve on the ball right now. Was it three drives? Yep. Three, three fumbles? Three fumbles. It's time to change our luck some way, somehow. Focus, concentration. And Hurts is intercepted. His third of the game. Picked up. Charvarius Ward and the 49ers are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see that we're having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. Just a gain of a couple there. And it'll be fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. And out now come the Eagles. The last drive for this offense, Charles, you remember it ended in one play, that quick interception, but they do still have the lead as they start this drive here. And that's something to focus on for them as well because it's not... And Hurts is intercepted, his third of the game. Picked off by Fred Warner. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as they'll go for two. They'll look to throw. 
Well, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Boy, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover, you take it away, they stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. They'll go again with Sanders. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Niners are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he'll get across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Back to throw, Purdy. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is going to have a Niners first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Purdy now to throw off the play action. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. They run with McCaffrey off the option. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. On second down, here's Mitchell. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the ten. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Throwing here, Purdy. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown. Brandon Ayuk from 10 yards out. And the Niners have taken a fourth quarter lead. They'll try and run it up the middle. And he'll get into the end zone. So now a field goal would only tie a 
as they up their lead to three. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage, at least give your team a fighting chance. And he returns this to the 22. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. But they need their best drive of the game right here. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. It's a six-yard run, leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Now a carry for Sanders. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. On first and 10, it's game well. And he's got this one across midfield in the 49er territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now again, a run with Gainwell. Just a yard of the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. And they'll try and run for it with Gainwell. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. That'll go as a pickup of eight. Brandon, unfortunately, I've been here before. They've had two opportunities to stop them, so this is demoralizing. They haven't gotten it done. Now you're calling all your blitzes, all your attack defenses, but you're not worried about playing your normal position. You're going to take chances now. Well, you said it. Two third down opportunities to get off the field. Couldn't do it, and the clock continues to roll. The last run got six. Now second and four. Boston Scott, his first carry. That one, a first down pickup of eight. But they're getting ready to go to work now. Prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't it? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. They run behind center with Gainwell. And able to work his way down to the 16. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave it with a second and three. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Back to Gainwell here on second down. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. Straight ahead, it's Gainwell. Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. Straight ahead, it's Sermon. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. On second down, game well looking for space. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Kenneth Gainwell taking it in from four yards. And the Eagles answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. But plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here. And they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Elliott good on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The 
football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Well, San Francisco's offense returns to the field. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. The throw over the middle, taken in, and they're able to get this one across the 35. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. On first down, it's Purdy. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Purdy to throw. Man open, that's Ray Ray McLeod. The 49ers moving hastily. They're scurrying to the line. Eluding the pressure right. This one caught by Kittle. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Here's Purdy. Steps away to his left. And the comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles have just about sewn up this football game. And the tough thing is when he goes back and reviews the film, he'll see that he already escaped the pocket. He could have gotten more himself by using his legs, and that might have been the better choice there instead of challenging the zone. A miscalculation on his part, and he pays for it with the interception. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. That one looks like he'll throw here. That's to his running back, Gamewell. And he goes out right around the 39. Seven yards there and a first down. And here's a handoff to Gainwell. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Now a timeout called for by the defense as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. To throw on second and six hurts. And that'll be dumped off to Gainwell. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. It's a gain of seven, and that should just about do it. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. Throwing again on second and ten. Hurts. Yeah, he's just throwing the ball up for grabs now. Fortunately, that one's going to fall incomplete. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. On the handoff, Gainwell. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop him with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This will get the lead up to seven. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will make this a seven-point game. Charles, even as long field goals become more and more common, this is still very rarefied air. Only just over 20 field goals have been kicked from 60 yards or further. And you can add his name to the list now. And as calm as he tried to present himself, there's no doubt there were some nerves as he lined up to attempt that kick. But once the ball was snapped, he just swept the leg and boom, over the crossbar. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Drops this underneath, it's Mitchell. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. He's back to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. 
They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. They'll look to throw. He's got a man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Back to throw. Looking for the out route. He's got it. Complete to kill. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Back to throw. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Partner, what a finish to this one. I mean, this offense, they had it down there inside the red zone, but ultimately couldn't execute that final snap to find the end zone. Yeah, and they're going to walk away from this one, and you know what's going to go through their heads the entire time until they get to play again. If we could only have that final snap to do over one more time, maybe with a different play call. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.